for the small things, so. About the big things, so say me could talk about the small things, so yeah. Hey, some help would be nice. I am helping. I'm holding the door. I meant you could help me with the mountain of clothes you just bought. What do you need all of these clothes for, anyway? Um, no reason. Where do you want this to go? Oh, anywhere is fine. Hey, Hannah. So I was packing for a trip and was wondering, how long do you think we'll be in Nigeria? Keep your voice down. He's right here. Wait, he doesn't know yet? Well... Bryn, what are you packing all of your stuff for? And why is all of the mail on the floor? I got a letter. Why is it opened? I don't know, but it surely has nothing to do with going to Nigeria to give a presentation. That's for sure. Ow. Well, thanks for the preview. Hey, it's from my cousin Sylvia. There you go now. As you know, I work for the lawn organization here in Lagos, and I told my boss about you, and he said he would love to have you come for our next project. He thinks with our preservance and your online presence, we could really do something big for the country. What'd you say? Would you like to come to Lagos and help me out? It'd be really fun, and I already have your plane ticket ready. Email you your reply. Reply. Talk to you later. Your cousin, Sylvia. L-O-N, what's that? It's the organization my cousin works for. They help out with maintaining and the upkeep all over Nigeria. From poverty, to cleaning the streets, to supporting tourists, they do it all. And now she wants me to come. Well, I think we already know the answer. Hannah, we're gonna need lots of food for the plane ride. Whoa, 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 I never said you guys were going. There's only one plane ticket. Oh, come on, that's not fair. We never leave this place. Now you know how I felt when you went to Acapulco without me. But that was different. That was for like six minutes. And why can't we all go and buy our own ticket? Do you even have buy your own ticket money? No, but... Why are there a million sweaters here? And who messed up all the letters? Gabe, we're going to Nigeria. We are? Look, nobody's going anywhere. I'm just going to go help out my cousin for a few days over there. You guys are staying here. How do you plan to go without a ticket? She already bought one, see? Huh, she really didn't give you all that much time to prepare, did she? What do you mean? Says you leave here tomorrow. I can't believe I'm going to Africa in like 24 hours. You aren't going anywhere. I just said this. If I can buy my own ticket, can I go? No. Well, you're too late because I already made up my mind. On what? We're going to Nicaragua. Nigeria. Wait, really? Come on, Hannah. Let's go pack our bags. Ooh, hold on. I need a new bag. <sighs> I really don't get it. What do you mean? She wasn't really specific in the letter. I mean, I still don't really get how I'm supposed to play a role in this whole thing. When I emailed her, all she said was that she'll explain more when I get there, but that she wanted to change the way that people think. Change the way people think, huh? That's very vague. Exactly. But knowing her, she probably has something elaborate planned and only wants me to know when she's sure I'm gonna be there. But I'll leave tomorrow. Yeah, that reminds me. I need to ask you something. Ask me what? Hey, Ugo, I had a question. What is it? So, you know, how you're going to Africa, well, I was just wondering if I could come? No, there's only one ticket, and I'm not dealing with any of you distracting me while I'm there. Oh, come on, you won't even know we're there. No, and that's final. Is there anything else you needed to say? Yeah, you're lame. So, what did you need to ask me, Abraham? I was gonna ask the same question. Oh, please, we're both from Africa. I could use the trip to learn- LEAVE! So is that a yes? Abraham! Sorry, I'm leaving. Have a safe trip. Good night! <sighs> Our Ugo needs to eat up before he travels. We'll miss you. From Lainey. Aw, oh, that's sweet. Wait! Washing your hoodies for you before you leave. You've got to be kidding me. Bryn doesn't even do laundry. Seriously, another note? Hey, I bought my own ticket. Typical. What the heck? Oh, Ugana, you're awake. Like the decor? Yeah, I would, if it was the right country. Ugh, I mixed them up. I've had enough of this. You're not going. Give me one good reason why we can't go with you. Maya, I'll give you five reasons. One, there's only one ticket. Two, 
I don't want you guys to go and then take something serious and turn it into a vacation. Three, I'm not babysitting anyone. And four, you can't even get another ticket to go. And five, because I said so. I said give me good reasons. Those were mediocre. Yeah, well, uh, put up the right flags next time. Oh, whatever. Anyway, I need to get ready to go. I'm really gonna miss you guys. <laughs> no, you won't. What do you mean? You won't miss us. Okay, I'm gonna go bathe now. And hold that face, no smiling. Gabe, you're smiling. You're not supposed to smile. Look, if I ever get in trouble for anything on the plane or when we arrive, I'm going to be laughing while I do it anyway. And that's all considering the fact that I'm dumb enough to do the thing to begin with. One, two, three. And here's your passport and ticket. You'll be on flight 508 departing this afternoon. Thank you. Right, so we leave in two hours. How are you and the others going to come? I don't know. I still need a plan. I can't just ask anyone for a round trip plane ticket. No, that won't work out. But you could, you know, not go like Ugana wants us to. <laughs> Good one. Regardless, you need to think fast if you want to be there the whole time. Yeah, true. Perfect. I can't believe I'm doing this. So this was your plan to go? Washing his million jackets? It's not my best idea, but I needed something subtle. You know what? Forget this. How did your flags go? I bought the entirely wrong country flag, so that didn't work in my favor. What did the others do? Laney made pancakes, Gabe got his own ticket, and Abraham went out to get him a stuffed animal. We're all so mischievous. I love it. But what if it's not enough to convince him? I sure hope it is. I don't even know why he won't let us come. For the last time. I'm not letting you come because we don't have enough tickets. And you guys will just mess around the whole time. We're not babies, though. We can handle a little trip. And then you'll turn the little trip into a big vacation. I'm going there to do serious things, not relax and drink coconut milk. But anyway, Bryn, I need my suitcase and my other jackets. Aw, oh, man. What are we gonna do? I have a plan. Get everyone who doesn't have a ticket down here. On it. And hurry! Guys? Guys? Gabe, where is everyone? I don't know. Do you know where Bryn left my bags? The laundry room. Alright, get your stuff so we can head to the airport. Hello? What's this? Dear Opaque, have a safe trip. We'll all miss you. We love you. Ha, JK, I hope your plane crashes. Bryn. This, this is why nobody's going. Hey, hurry up! Coming! Come on, we're gonna be late. I think Bryn put boulders in my bags. I hope you can wear them, come on. Come help me carry this. Move, move, move! Hey, I am moving. Ugh, and where is everybody? I don't know, just get in the car, let's go. Well, we made it. And just in time, too. You know, I've never ridden a plane before. Really? Why? Considering where we live, there's not much of a reason to. I think that's why everyone wanted to go so much. But you guys went to Acapulco before. Yeah, but that's not very long. And that was for sweepstakes. We drove, then we went on a boat, and it was different without you. Aw, oh, really? It was? <laughs> yeah, it was. Okay, then. Get your foot out of my face. Did anyone bring any food? I'm starving. Food is not our concern right now. We need oxygen. Well, we would have more oxygen if this bag could fit four people. Yeah, Abraham, get out. Hey, I really just didn't want to deal with everyone. Whatever Sylvia has planned is serious, and I really need to focus in order to help her. And I'm not really there to have a vacation either. You won't even know we're there. Yeah, I hope so. Wait, what do you mean, we? Oh, did I say we? I didn't mean that. Gabe, where is everyone? I don't know. Gabe? Fine, open up the one back. Hey, Ugo! You've gotta be kidding me. I told you, didn't I? I hate all of you. A and Bryn, where are my clothes? I left them at home to make more room for us. You're welcome. I really hate all of you. Gabe, why did you act like you didn't know? I was sworn to secrecy. And where the heck is Hannah? Hello everyone, this is your captain speaking. It's a sunny day here as we cross the Atlantic, a bunch of inches in the air. And we'll be arriving in the Logos in like an hour. This is gonna be a long trip. Yeah.
Guys, welcome to Nigeria. There isn't anything more redundant you could have possibly said. It feels so nice to actually have access to my limbs. I totally can't wait to cram back into a bag again for our plane ride back. Speaking of which, where's Hannah? Out, out, out! Oh, come on, I didn't even do anything. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know that barrel rows were nothing. I was just making it fun. Just get out of here before I call the cops. Good job, Hannah! Not only did you not need a ticket, but you flew a plane! I think we all did well coming here. Gabe got a ticket, you guys were stuck in a bag for hours, and I flew us here. See, Ivana, I told you we're all gonna come and make it work. Yeah, why are we here again? Well, the first thing we need to do is find my cousin. Sounds simple enough. Is it just me, or is it really, really hot here? What did you expect? Snow? Well, I didn't think it was gonna be this warm. Looks like this is coming off. Yeah, me too. Do you have any idea where they'd be? She said she'd be here to come get us, but I don't see her anywhere. Let me call her. What's up, cousin? Sylvia! Guys, this is my cousin Sylvia. Sylvia, this is Abraham, Bryn, Gabe, Hannah, Lainey, and Maya. In alphabetical order. Nice to meet you all. I would also like to introduce you to someone very special. Gabe, come over here. Coming. I would like you to meet my friend and project supervisor, Gabe. I want to thank you all for coming on such a short notice, especially when we only gave one ticket. I'm surprised you all made it here. I'm surprised too. What can we say? We improvise. I'm also really excited to see what your perspective is on our situation, Ugana. I think it's really cool to see such fresh ideas from the teen's mind. Thanks? Wait, but you look pretty young to be a supervisor. How old are you? I'm 17. But what do you mean by situation? We don't even know what exactly Ghana is going to be doing. Let's head to the campus, and we can discuss there. Please tell me we're not walking there. I have the perfect transportation for my favorite cousin and his friends. Come on, let's head out. Please tell me there will be air conditioning in the car. And breaking news, Salma Adem has broken out of the federal prison and is now roaming free. If you see any sightings of her or anyone associated with her, you are to contact authorities immediately. No freaking way. Welcome to the life of Nigeria campus. Oh wow. Oh wow, this is really nice. We may not be the richest, but with over 180 million people, you tend to make some adjustments. Adjustments like a large gate in front of the whole place? Our entire neighborhood isn't even as big as this one part. All right, me and Ugona need to talk privately. So Gabe, show them around. I've never been here before. Do you mean him? She was talking to me. Be careful, you guys. And don't touch anything. <laughs> don't touch anything? You never know what they could do. When they're all together, it can get chaotic. That's understandable. But anyway, tell me about your big plan. Get ready for this. You broadcasted live to the world millions will watch and basically we want you to address the major stereotypes of african nations suffer we live in a world where superiority is a big part of it and many people see africa in the media and think of uncivilized nations poor countries and lions and giraffes yeah that's true and i want to do something about it i want this whole country to wake up and you want me to play the role of delivering the message Exactly! I'm not the best when it comes to public speaking, but you do that all the time online. I'm thinking of having presentation year and broadcasting your message worldwide. Looks like our elaborateness is in our blood. I love it. Yeah, and apparently our big ambitions too. And our egos. No, that's just you. But, would you say, you want to help me get everyone to wake up? I don't think I have a choice. We need to do this. Let's wake up the country. And this is our theater. As you probably guessed, we watch a lot of movies in here whenever we're done with work. Wow. I mean, it's not MC, but this is pretty nice. Thing is, it draws a lot of power. So whenever the power goes out, it's kind of useless. How often does that happen? 
often, a few times a week, sometimes twice a day depending on where you live. But the L1 campus is here in Lagos. The power doesn't go out here as often in the more developed parts of Nigeria. I would imagine. How do you guys keep all of this expensive stuff without having to worry about it? Other companies, especially in America, donate to us. And our security is pretty good. It's just that, lately, things have been getting worse. There's a group out there, led by their leader, Sama, who have been causing all sorts of trouble. Kidnapping, causing riots, anything they can do so they can be heard. Their leader, Sama, wants revolution. She wants to be the world's first female African-American dictator. She wants to change Nigeria for the worst and make history while doing it. Can't the police do anything? No, not really. But she was arrested and put in the federal prison. So unless she somehow manages to break out or her supporters somehow manage to come up with the several hundred thousand of Naira to bail her out, it'll be alright. We're really hoping this first step in our big plan can really change this country and put it on the right path. That sounds very ambitious. It does. I mean, to change a whole nation? That itself sounds really intimidating. But it's okay. We can pull this off and wake this country up together. Who said anything about doing this together? I'm in. Nice. Anybody else? After all, let's not forget that you all insisted on coming. <sighs> we only came here to avoid the responsibilities back home. Otherwise, we would have went somewhere other than Nigeria. But this is really important, especially to Uganda. Exactly. It may be ambitious, but it's a step in the right direction. And it's not like you have much of a choice either, so... Fair enough. Fine. I better be paid for this. Now, let's wake up the country. Eh, not right now. We should start tomorrow. It's getting late. Right now, we go to sleep. Great, so instead of waking up, we're going to bed. I'm already loving this. Ah, uh, yes. The LON campus has set up sleeping quarters for all of you. Do you really think we can pull this off? No. That's why we need to get the country in on it, too. I'm only here to address the racism and stereotypes of African nations, and then have a call to action to do something about it to help the stereotypes, and fixing the situations here like education, technology, and stuff. People love to complain, but they don't like to do anything about it, so hopefully we can do something about it. Do you really think people will be willing to do that? Well, I mean, yeah, they should be. They live here. Shouldn't they want the best for their country? Umerosi, Selma Umerosi. You know I don't understand Igbo. There's a reason why I'm from the north. I'm sorry, but did you hear about Uganda? Who hasn't heard? Omega Ugo is here and he's working with the Long Network. But have you heard the reports? There will be a huge presentation he's given. That's your chance to take advantage of this. You know, become a dictator. Dictators don't use the word dictator, okay? So please stop and call me Empress. Fine, Empress. If you could somehow get Ugo, his friends, and the public to believe in you and give you power, it could work. There's no way he's going to join me just like that. If the public sees Ugo and I together, they're going to freak out. They're going to come after me in this place and find all of us. You could just kidnap him, then ransom him back for power. If they decline, strike fear into their hearts. I'm thinking if we could get our hands on Ugo before the presentation, we could start that way. You guys capture Ugo, and I'll work on how we're going to revolt. This is happening now. I will inform the others right now. Uh, you can wait till the morning. You deserve it. Why, thank you. Selma. What did I say I shall be addressed as? Sorry, Madam Empress. Good. Now get out of my face. Smell like fish. So what's on the agenda for today? Well, first, I was going to figure out how to organize my ideas I have for my presentation. Then, I would help Sylvia plan the actual event. And then later, we'd figure out what will happen at the gala the night before the presentation. Then we- No offense, but that sounds really boring. Yeah, I agree. We came all this way and you want to work on this presentation? No sightseeing or touring? Yeah, I'd love to do that stuff, but there'll always be next time. Well, if you're not going, I guess we could. I don't know. I kind of needed you guys' help. Oh please, we literally know nothing about this place. This would be a perfect time to experience a little culture shock, you know? Yeah, how could we help if we have no idea what this is? You're right. You can go on ahead, but be careful. And I need you guys to be back here at 2. That gives you 6 hours to do whatever the heck you want. Alright, we'll tell everyone else. Thank you. Bye, Ogana. Where are they going? They're going to go sightseeing. Are you going too? Nope. I'm staying here to work on this. 
This is really important to my cousin, and to me, and I don't really want anything to ruin that. I understand. You guys seem really motivated. Well, yeah. I mean, if parents are constantly threatening to send their kids back home, we might as well make back home a place to enjoy, you know? That's a good point. I just hope it'll all pay off. I'm sure it will. You guys have the audience and motivation. True. Are you heading out or staying? Well, I was gonna stay, but I think I'd want to go out in about two. Alright then. Just be back by two so that way I can get help with writing. Alright, see you then. And tell the others! I will. Not. So, what do you guys want to buy? Not sure. And do we even have enough money? <laughs> I have got you now. Selma will totally give me a promotion. That's nonsense they are wearing. Must mean they are musicians, right? Hey ladies, you there? Hey, what are you selling? She must not speak English. Yes, she does. She just called us over in English. Duh. Maybe that's all she knows. Hello. We speak English. Do you understand? She's not an alien. She literally called us over in English, and now all of a sudden she can't speak it? Come on, let's go. Wait, wait. I was just seeing if you could speak my language. Seeing if I could cheat you for a good price. I like the way you think. Sometimes here, you just gotta play dirty in order to stay on your feet, you know? It's really hard out here. I have six kids. All of them deserve so much, but so little to give. Yeah, really sad story and all, but what are you selling and for how much? Well, I noticed that you two had music symbols on your shirts. Yeah, and? I wanted to see if any of you were interested in our drums. We use them here often. They are called Shakiris. The West African drum. This looks really cool. Abraham would want one too. Oh yeah, he plays the drums. So, are you interested? Yeah, actually. Can we get five? And here is a complimentary mini drum. You can hold it in your pocket. For five, I will need 1800 Naira. $2,000 for five drums? <laughs> no deal. That's ridiculous, and even if you did have kids, that's way too much for five of these things. Um, I said 1,800 Naira. We heard you. And we aren't paying. 1,800 Naira is five US dollars. Oh! That's one dollar per drum. I know that. We'll take five. Alright, here you go. Thanks. And good luck with your kids! I have all my ideas here and ready, but I have no idea how to glue it all together. And I'm really afraid that I might leave something crucial out. Well, what's the central point you want to express? I just want people to realize that there's a lot more to Africa than they think. But even then, there's a lot of work to be done here before we can even get that across. And there's no good in complaining about it if you don't plan on doing something about it. That's really good, actually. Thanks, but with two days until the event, a simple theme with a few ideas isn't much. I'm sure you'll think of something. I wouldn't expect you to just come up with a perfect speech out of nowhere. Yeah, that's true. Which is why I wanted my friends to stay behind so they can help me. I'm sure when they come back, they'll be able to help you. Yeah. I wonder what they're up to. Isn't this place great? If you mean by temperature and the chance we'd get malaria, then yes. No, that's not what I mean. So what would you like to do with the time we have? Well, before we left, I did some research on the Igbo culture here, because that's where Ghana's from, and found out they have these things called masquerades. They're these big monsters that dance around while covered in masks, but I've never seen one before. I take it you'd like to see one? Yeah, but I don't know if I'll ever see one. Wasn't this good timing? Take a look over there. Oh shoot, I should get a picture. Mr. Masquerade, I want a picture. Wait, come back, I just want a picture. You cannot run me. Gotcha. All right. Smile. Hey, get off of me. Gabe number two? What? You're the masquerade? You can't just tackle a masquerade when they're trying to entertain. You got me right before I could even start. My bad, but why are you here anyway? I always do this stuff. It's fun. For fun? Yeah, it's for the entertainment. That's different. I didn't know it could be for entertainment. Well, Abraham, you would know if you hadn't knocked me down and revealed who I was. 
that's a fair point. So now I guess I'm free. I'm gonna head back to the campus. You coming? Nah, we'll be back around too. All right, see you then. Bye. Did you get your picture? See for yourself. Nice. Well, in other news, Hannah told me to meet her at this amusement park. Ooh, looks fun. Right, I'll let her know we're interested. Sylvia, I think I'm gonna go on a walk. It'll help me think. All right, be careful. I will. They know my story. For more dogs to do. I be hustled to walk. That was the best ride. I almost forgot where we were when we were on it. And the games. Definitely the best part. We should do that. Oh, hey Ugana. Do you have any idea what time it is right now? Close to four, I think. Four! Four! You stayed till four! Told you we should have stayed longer. What are you all mad about? Did someone say you look like Swoozy again? I said be back by two. Why are you just now coming back? You never said that. What? You never said to be back at two. Yes, I did. I told Abraham and Bryn to tell all of you. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> I don't. This isn't funny! I need to be able to trust all of you when I say stuff like this. This is exactly why I didn't want you to come here at all. This is important, and I can't have anything get in our way. It's not a vacation. Calm down, Ugana. We promise we won't do it again. Anyway, we're here now. We can help you finish your presentation. I'm already done. Well, it looks like you didn't even need our help. Let's head to the playroom. We bought you guys drums. Well, that looks like it went well. I love them, but I really needed them today. I'm sure they didn't mean any harm. Yeah, you're probably right. But have you ever thought of any other color jacket? I'm leaving. Then, I sold them the drums and put the bug on the small drum. Good. Now I we'll know exactly where they are at every moment. My plan is working out perfectly. This was my idea, and you haven't done much to make it work either. I don't think you understand what's being at stake here. I have fallen and I have suffered in this poor excuse of a world and it is hard to take over a country when you can't even be seen in it without being thrown into prison. Okay. <coughs> okay. And that's why I have to pull dead weight like you to get my stuff done. And if you don't understand that I'm not your equal, your partner, or your friend, and when I'm done with you, I will throw you away. Bring Ugo to me here by midnight and stop trying to show superiority. I could leave you right now and tell the police what you are doing. And I could just kill you right now before you even get to them. So again I say, stop trying to be smart and powerful, bring Ugo and get him to me. No offense, but I'm not a fan. Can't we wear what we're wearing now? It's, um, different, that's for sure. Can I come in? Yeah. So, how about this? I think I wouldn't have come if I knew we were going to be forced into wearing such clothes. It's understandable, though. Sylvia said she wants to go to the event in traditional clothes. I really don't know about this. Like, can we mix it with what we have on already? I'm not sure. How do I look, ladies? And Gabe? Yeah. Well, I think I look spiffy in this. You actually like it? Yeah, I think it's cool. Good morning. Hey, you don't have your outfit on? Nah, the gala doesn't start for like 10 hours. Do we have to match though? Can we like mix it with stuff we have on right now? As long as you're wearing something traditional. It's lawn tradition. Oh, thank god. It's also a tradition that we have to dance in front of everyone. It's a rule for all special guests. I am not dancing. I didn't come here to humiliate myself. We don't have a choice. I'm sure it won't be that bad. No, it'll be that bad. This isn't normal music we're talking about, is it? Nope. This will be fun. Selma, here is another plan. This is how we will get Ugo. Then you can use him to get the audience you need. What's the plan? Tonight, the lawn is having a gala for Ugo and his friends. A way to celebrate before the presentation. It will end late in the night. Then you can go and get him. Me? I ain't getting him. 
the police are after me. I'm not going to be running around the night kidnapping people. You expect me to do all of this? And I'm not even the one going to end up benefiting? Why do you get to relax and do nothing Why people are making the difference that you want? Because I'm the one who's been arrested 50 times in the last six months. I'm the one who put this whole group together. I can't do anything while I'm being hunted for by the police, remember? Yeah, whatever. Just bring him here to me tonight by midnight. I will do what I can. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to thank you for coming to celebrate the arrival of our newest VIP, Mr. Ugona and his friends, Hannah, Gabe, Brian, Abraham, Lainey, and Maya from America. Why don't you come up here and say a few words? Wow, I haven't been on stage since I was trying to tell my friends about the history of my channel. Boo. Anyway though, I'm really honored to be here, and I'm excited to see your faces when you all see what I have in store tomorrow night. I worked really hard on it, and I think I can say the same for the people that made this possible. My great cousin Sylvia and my new good friend Gabe. He's talking about me, just to make that clear. Yeah, so I hope you all enjoy yourselves, and I'll see you tomorrow when we present to you our project, cleverly called Operation Wake Up. Oh, uh, last time I was on stage I was telling my friends how I made my channel. I've had enough of this. And yet you guys still interrupted me. It's nice to know things never change. Have you tried the food here? It's so good that Abraham asked for like five to-go plates. They have this thing called Chin Chin. It's the most addictive thing I've ever tasted. Ah, uh, Bryn and Maya's first time trying Nigerian Chin Chin. You guys remember that one episode of Victorious where Kat discovered Bibble and became obsessed? That's what this stuff is like. I couldn't have described it any better. And I don't think I've seen this many different types of rice before. Me either. Nice to see you're enjoying it. Right! It's now time for one of our favorite traditions, the dance of our VIPs. Alright Ugo, it's time for you and your friends to get on the floor and lead the dance. Our time has come. Ladies, gentlemen, shall we? We shall not. Hannah, it's tradition. We're going. It's also been a tradition that I do what I want when I want. For once, can you just do this one thing? I'm not embarrassing myself up there. If she doesn't want to go, she doesn't have to. Good, because I don't want to go either. But you don't have a choice! I'm not going, and that's final. No, you don't get a say in this at all. Did you forget that you guys are the ones who illegally snuck onto the plane after I said you're not going? Actually, I flew the plane, but... When I said I was here not to fool around, that's exactly what you all did. And then when I needed you for something that we actually came here to do, you didn't come. And you think it's okay to just skip this thing too? I don't think you understand who you've been on this whole trip. From the day we found the letter, you've just been bossing us around. We aren't your kid. You can't just tell us what to do and when to do it. They didn't even need us here, so it shouldn't have been a big deal why we weren't there at two. Or if we've been fooling around just in general. You're kidding. No, I'm not. You've been treating us like babies even before we left. Like, how do you expect to change your country when you can't even respect your own friends, huh? We aren't your freaking kids. We're your friends. But honestly, after being through a disaster of a trip like this with you, I don't even think I still want to be your acquaintance. I don't know about you guys, but I'm tired of being treated like a baby. And you know what? What? I'm going back home. You're joking. You came here, screwed with everything I had planned, and now you're just going to leave? Hey, what's going on? Is everything alright? Yeah, I'm out of here. Fine then. Come on guys, let's get this over with. Actually, I'm gonna go with Hannah. I agree with her. Fine. Anyone else? No? Good! I'm going to do what I came here to do, with or without you. I want you two to call us in the morning when we make it back, alright? Be safe, you guys. I'll go tell Lainey and Abraham what just happened. They're probably still in the kitchen. And don't worry about Ugana, okay? I think you made a really good point, Hannah. Thanks, Gabe. We'll see you soon. Have a safe trip, okay? Bye, guys. Make sure you call us. We will. I can't believe what you did in there. That was amazing. You really think so? Yeah. I just think he needed to know how he's been acting. Yeah, you're right. Oh my god. Hannah, Bryn, get in the van! Um, I think not. We can take you to the one. Get in the van. Hey! Ow! <laughs> Ugana! Yeah. Hannah and Bryn! Yeah, they went home last night, remember? No, their stuff is still here, and they never called, like Gabe told them too. 
I'm sure there's a logical explanation for this. The airport said they haven't seen them since we arrived. Oh. Oh no. Quick! Come to the lobby! Alright. Thanks. Bye. Nobody back home has seen them. They must still be here. We need to call the police. Send out a search party. I'm on it. I'm really starting to think the worst. The worst? Yes. What if they're hurt and need help? You guys said this place had top-notch security, right? Yeah? Why? Check the cameras after Hannah and Bryn left the event last night and see if anything's there. On it! You know, none of this would have happened if you didn't treat her like a baby. Exactly. They never would have wanted to leave if you had just let us do our own thing in the first place. Well, maybe if you guys took this trip seriously, or took anything seriously, I wouldn't have to been so- <gasps> I found something. What is it? They were... um... Spit it out. Bryn and Hannah were kidnapped by Salma's group. What? How do you know it was Salma? The footage, although, was grainy, but we could tell by their van that they worked for Salma. Oh no, oh no. This is all my fault. Yes, it is. We have got to find them. Actually, that won't be necessary. What? We can't just leave them here. We won't. Salma will bring them to us. What? News just broke out that she'll be attending the event somehow, and the police are already searching for her. Why would she come to the presentation? To cause chaos, probably, and sabotage it. That, or maybe she just has a presentation of her own. Jokes aside, Salma publicly announced that she will be found at the gala here. So we'll have higher security and the police will be there as well. We can get Hannah and Bryn back. There's no way she'll leave without them. She'll probably ransom them back to us or something. There's a reason she plans on coming to the public event. When she knows she's wanted, she's planning something. But we can't just risk a danger like that letting her come. We should go and get them ourselves. But if we do that, somebody else could be taken away as well. It's better we wait for them than to risk the same thing happening twice. She makes a good point. So here's what we're gonna do. You two, the guards, Maya and Lainey, can guard the entrances during the night. Gabe and Abraham can go get Hannah and Bryn while I somehow manage to do the presentation. I just hope they're fine. I just can't believe I let this happen. We'll get them back, Ugana. Yeah, but next time, give us more room. Trust us more. Yeah, we could be much at times, but we're sorry for showing up at the time you wanted us to return and for coming when you didn't want us to. But in the end, you have to be able to trust us. We're your friends. This baby thing was happening before we left. You're right. I'm really sorry. Just try to relax a little bit more next time, and we'll try to be more flexible as well. Thanks, but right now it's time for us to get ready. We want to make sure we're prepared when she arrives. Yes, sir. I still can't believe this. I did what I can't. I asked for Ugana, not these two nobodies. Hey, we are not nobodies. I'll have you know I have more than 1,000 followers on Instagram. They had the drum, not Ugo, so I was only able to track her. You knew this. I did what I could. And I never asked for this. Now I have to go to the gala, demand power, and get Ugo myself. I'm taking over that campus. And then Lagos. And then Nigeria. And then all of West Africa. And Ugo was my only ticket to doing that. But you ruined it. Wait, what? You too. Your dear friend is presenting tonight, and we'll be there. And you guys can watch as I make history. Will you let us go after that? Heck no, because Ugo's gonna wanna come rescue, learn him into my trap, and you're gonna help me. My plan can still work. Your plan? I have done all the work. If anything, I have more of a reason to take over than you do. You are not even a threat. You're right here, right now. I've kidnapped thousands. Killed several. I've been arrested so many times. I have my entire complex at the prison. And this country keeps spoon feeding me all the weapons I need to take over. And I will. The government is coming down. And I'm not afraid to take you down either. You know what? I'm out of here. Oh, looky here. Oluchi thinks she can stand up to me and then quit. She thinks she could just walk out of here alive. Oh, you're joking. Unless you want to be wanted too, I suggest you stay. And don't mess up tonight, or else you'll just meet the same fate everyone else in my way has. She's killed. She has killed to get here. No! And we could end up being next if we don't help her get Ugana and the others. Why does this stuff always happen to us? What do you mean? 
The seven of us are always put into these crazy situations. It's like a once a month thing now. Pull yourself together. We're gonna get out of this. I'm sure they're on their way right now looking for us. It's been like 15 hours. What's taking them so long? They probably haven't discovered where we are yet. It's too bad they don't have this drum with the stupid tracking chip. Yeah, and Lauren knows how far we are from them. We were in the van for like two hours. We're hopeless. Don't say that. We're not hopeless. I guess. And knowing Ugana, he probably has a plan. Oh, yeah. Ugana. And Solma said we're coming to the presentation. We're sure to be rescued. There's no way a dumb idea like that could work well. I was hoping the only good thing out of getting kidnapped was missing the presentation, but even that dream had to go wrong. You ready? Heck no! Salma kidnapped my friends, and now she's coming here! I'm freaking out, man! Listen, it'll be alright. The show must go on, and we have lots of security to stop her from entering anywhere near the campus. And if Salma gets in here, she'll be taken care of before she or anybody working for her can lay a finger on anybody. What about Hannah and Bryn? We'll get them back, Ugana. I promise. Alright. I just hope they're okay. They're my best friends, and after all we've been through, letting this happen is definitely the lowest. I never should have treated any of them that way. A little distraction here or there is nothing compared to treating them like garbage. And now they could be dead for all we know. Ugana, they'll be fine. We'll get them back. Alright. Are you ready? Yeah, I am. Let's wake this country up. Alright, and now for the moment you've all been waiting for. He needs no introduction. Here he is, Ugona. Everybody in position? Roger. You don't have to say Roger. Guys, focus. Just be ready to sprint when Salma shows herself. Which she won't. Right, guys? Right. Thank you, Sylvia. Now, before I begin, I just wanted to talk about some things I've noticed here. Now, I don't live here, but I've heard and seen things with my own eyes. Things I'd want to address before I get into what I really have to say. I'm stalling. The first thing I wanted to address was... Sorry, Ugana, but I'm going to have to cut you off right there. My name is Salma, and I've been here for similar reasons. We have been struggling and fighting for more than half a century. And what I say is time for a new government. And I say it's time for a revolution. I say I should be the Empress of Nigeria. Many of you have been wondering what I've been up to in my absence, and I apologize for making the wait so long. My brothers and sisters, we have been struggling for too long. It's time we do something. New government, new economy, and who better to control it all than me? What do you say? Security! Sorry, but I took care of them long before. Then it looks like we gotta take care of this ourselves. Ha! <laughs> you kids are fools. Come on, Ugo, we've got to go. Uguna, get out of here. Lini, we have to get Salma. Then go! You two, bring back our friends. Let's roll, Gabe. We know for a fact Hannah and Bren are here, but I don't see anything. Just keep looking. They have to be somewhere around here. Yeah, I don't know what to expect. I didn't want to watch the security footage, so I have no idea what we're even- Random van with a large S on it. That has to be it. Random van cliche. Nice. Hannah. Bren. Gabe. Are you guys alright? Just a little shaken up, but we're fine. I can't believe this happened. What did they do to you? They wanted to use us to lure Ugana, and they planned on getting all of us so she'd be listened to and have power. Where is Ugana? He didn't care enough to come rescue us. He's inside though, with Salma and the others. That way he'd be able to present if she ended up being taken care of. They're all in there? With Salma? She's going to hurt them! You. You did this to us. You sold us that drum. I know, I know, and I'm sorry, but I can help you. I can get her people out of there and send them looking for you instead. Then you guys can rush back in there. Oh yeah? How can we trust you? Because if somebody is willing to betray their best friend to do what's right, they are trustworthy. Gotta admit, she makes a good point. If you guys head around the building and make your way back inside, and then I will tell her and the others that you escaped. They'll be looking for you outside, and you'll be inside, but you will need to go now. Sounds like a plan. Alright, now go. Go. You. Hurt. <coughs> my friends! Now it looks like I have to hurt you. All of you don't understand that I will stomp on anyone that gets in my way. And now, you're in my way. Speaking of in your way, turn around. What? Where are you going? All that she said that. 
Hannah and Brian escaped. All of you, go find them. I can handle things here. Now, for you. I don't think so. What? Is this a joke? They were here the whole time? Hannah! Bryn! Donna, it's time to go! Situation! Situation! Guys, you take care of the others when they get back. Hannah, go get Ugana. Nobody gets to lay a figure on him until we do. Alright, I'll be back soon. Let go of me! Handcuffs? Seriously? Where are we going? Answer me! Out of here, that's for sure. I finally have what I need to get myself heard. And I'm not going to let my foolish members or your annoying friends get in the way. Just for the record, most dictators don't kidnap in order to get people on their side. Oh, Ghana. Even when you're about to be tortured, you still make things very funny and entertaining. I'm never coming to Nigeria ever again. Well, that was fun. Did anybody get hurt? They're all right. Great. Let's clean up and get ready to do this presentation. Wait, what about Hannah and Ugana? I'm sure they're fine. If I could just pop that tire. What's up with her and knives? Ow. Come on. How about you uncuff me? Just come with me so I can figure out what happened. Stop being such a baby. The flat tire, two of them. Can I go now? You know your friends didn't talk this much when I found them. The holes were made with something sharp, not rocks or anything. But who would have been capable of doing something like this? The cable thing is right over here. Bring Ugana back here. No, did you really think I was just going to hand them over? Um, I was kind of hoping it would. Do you even have any idea where we are? This, Hannah, is a third mainland bridge. One of the longest and busiest bridges in the entire country. And in case it didn't occur to you, we're at the very edge of it. One lean back and it's all over. Not to mention me and your dear friend are handcuffed to each other. Looks like you're running out of time, huh, Hannah? Whatever, I'm gonna break those cuffs and push you off the sink. Then I'm gonna be on my way. If you come any closer, I'm leaping off this bridge. I'll go and he'll go too. What I want is simple. First, I want you to fix my dang tires. Those were expensive. Then, I want you and Ugo and all your other foolish friends to go back into my hand. I've suffered too long, and now here's my chance to change this place. And I'm not gonna let you or anyone else ruin it. So, Hannah, what will it be? Hannah Fur! Don't pick something stupid! You just stop talking! Selma, make chill again. You! This is your fault! Now I'll never be Empress! It might have taken me long to realize, but I don't think somebody who is not even Nigerian should be the Empress of the country, which would explain why you can't speak any of our languages. Wow, as if that realization matters. Selma, stop this nonsense. Stop it now. How do you think that telling me to stop alone is going to change anything at all? Hannah, please show me the Shakir from before. You see this? You see this, Selma? Any minute from now, the police will be right here because of something you made. Your little game is over. No, no, it's not. Ah, help me! Hannah, now. Selma, fill the beat. No! Do you think she'll get away? <laughs> no. Hannafer! I'm so sorry. I never should have treated you that way. You were right. You are my friend and not a baby. I'm so sorry I let this happen. A little distraction is nothing compared to the way I acted, and I'm really Get off of me. You know I don't like being touched. Why are you like this? Sorry, sorry. But I'm sorry too. We came here to help you, not distract you. It's fine. It's fine. I'm just glad you're okay. I would hate to break up the reunion. But what about me? I'm sorry. I don't think I've met you. I am Boluchi. Ah, Oluchi. That's my sister's name, actually. Oh, really? Wow. But here's the thing. She worked for Salmo, and the police will be here any second. What do we do? Yeah, that. She helped rescue and kidnap me and Bryn, but now she'll be arrested. Not unless she's at the lawn campus. If we head there and explain to Sylvia and Gabe what happened, maybe they can help. No, no. Th that's fine. I will stay here and get what I deserve. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. But before we go, Luchi, I want you to have the drum. Because it's a cliche, and it's my way of thanking you. <laughs> Thanks, Hannah. Goodbye. Guys! We're back! It's nice to see you're alright. I'm just glad you're all okay. What happened to Salma? She literally jumped off a bridge. Oh, wow! Good for her! Did you see Luchi? 
Yeah, she ended up helping us. I hope she's all right. Now's not the time. Right now, we need to sign back on. Broadcast the event everywhere. Clean this place up. Come on, people. It's time to wake up the country. I'll get the stream going. Thank you. Now, Ugona, you look like a mess. Oh, I'm sorry. You see, I was almost pushed off a freaking bridge. Never mind that. Never mind that. Go make yourself look presentable. Bossy as always. We're going live, guys. Wow. What a week. I know, right? We found out we were coming here, learned about a country we knew nothing about, got kidnapped, ended up saving said country from having a dictator. Crazy, isn't it? It sure is. Good evening. The Life of Nigerian Association would like to thank everyone for coming this evening and everyone watching live at home. We apologize for starting a little late. The Life of Nigeria presents to you in collaboration with Ugona and friends. Wake up. Thank you, Sylvia. With 7 billion people and 7 continents, I think it's safe to say we experience a little culture shock whenever we travel or even hear about other cultures. And we live in a world where embracing your ethnicity is becoming more and more present. With services like Ancestry DNA and cultural diversity clubs, it helps us learn more and more about where we come from and learn more about ourselves. But as humans, we tend to associate groups with certain actions or ways of life. And when it comes to culture, it's not an exception. We live in a world filled with stereotypes, chaos, racism, and division. And while we've come a long way when it comes to equality, there's still lots of work that needs to be done, especially with the stereotypes. And Africa has been hit hard, if not the hardest. The media portrays the continent as an underdeveloped, uncivilized, chaotic, and dangerous place. And when it's not being perceived that way, it's being shown as a place that you should donate money to or go on a safari in. But everywhere has problems, but Africa, and Nigeria in this case, hasn't been able to let that beauty that it has shine through as much as the flaws have. Our culture here is unique, from our clothing, to our foods, to our languages, to our music. Afrobeat is becoming widely popular in America, and where is it from? The place that has lions, tigers, and no food, electricity, or water. But we also live in a world where we tend to complain, and complain, and complain, without wanting to do anything about it. And this is no different. People here are suffering, others are complaining, and I know it's hard to get up and start making a difference, and it's easier said than done, but that doesn't mean it's impossible. It's time to wake up. Come out of the bed and wake up. Wake up and change your country for the better. It might be hard, but we can't not try. It will take hard work, but hard work has already fixed several of the world's problems. It might take time, but in the end, I know it can happen. We all want it to, don't we? But it won't happen if we don't try. It's time to wake up. Come out of the bed and wake up. If we all wake up and work together for something we all want, we can achieve our goals. But it won't happen if we don't wake up. So go, get up and start making the effort to fix it. Whether it's your country's electricity, economy, food, safety, or even if it's something smaller like your own home. We can't complain and not do anything. We can't sit here and expect it to be done for us, and we can't just be waiting and procrastinating either. But what we can do is wake up, come out of the bed, and let's change things for the better. Good job, Ugana. You did great! Thanks, everyone. That was... incredible. I guess you could call it that. Thanks, guys. And Bryn, I'm really sorry for what happened. It's fine, we're fine now. Salmo's gone, and you've done your presentation. So now what's left? Actually, we're leaving tomorrow morning. Yeah, it feels like we were only here for like an hour. I'm kind of starting to wish I actually had fun here and done stuff. Eh, there will be more trips. But this was definitely one I'll never forget. Agreed. Sylvia, is there anything else left to do? Nah, we're wrapping up here. Thank you so much for your help. No problem. We're going to head back to our rooms. We'll meet you there. Good night and thanks so much. Got everything? I sure hope so. And Bryn left all my clothes at home, so I don't really have anything to bring. Speaking of which, how are we leaving? We don't have tickets. Taken care of. Now you guys can head home in individual seats. Guys, it's time to head to the airport. Bye, Sylvia. Bye, Gabe. Goodbye, and take care. Thanks for everything. Feel free to visit anytime. Sylvia, thanks for having us. Of course. I'm really glad you were able to come. It means a lot. Of course. You think that our plan will work? I'm sure. 
We have the motivation. Now leave it to us to get things started. Great. I'm glad I could help. Good luck, Sylvia. Thanks. But remember, luck isn't what we need. Right. What we need is to... Wake up. Goodbye, Hugo. Goodbye, Sylvia. And don't forget to set your alarm. Oh my god, just leave already. <laughs> being touched. Why are you like this?